<laughs> Want role plays without the ads? For just $3 a month on Patreon, you'll not only gain early access to my role plays, you'll also be able to vote on which role play I make for the week. Or for $5 a month, you'll get a new and exclusive girlfriend role play each week. Head over to Patreon to check it out today. Or if you're interested in staying closer to home, check out Vixie Voices YouTube memberships, where for just $3 a month, you'll get early access to my role plays, as well as a badge next to your name whenever you comment, and adorable emojis to post as well. Check out the links below for more information. And don't forget to head over to Teespring to get your Vixie Voice merch today. Link is in the description. The following roleplay is rated T, appropriate for ages 13 and older. Ugh, I need to sit down. This couch was such a great find. To think that they were just giving it away. Hmm. <sighs> Definitely should have gotten a drink first, though. Oh my god! It's... What the... What are you doing here? Scared the shit out of me. What the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, it's good to see you too. This place... It's just temporary until I find a job. You know how it is. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all right. Still trying to find a way to get the Kirill. Unfortunately, in between jobs. He's as elusive as ever. I actually came pretty close a few months ago. Just so happened to be in Costa Rica and saw someone I know to be one of his confidants. I followed her, but I didn't want to get too close because I had a run-in with her in Hungary a couple of months prior, and she definitely recognized me. Yeah, 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 laugh it up. You know how it goes. So I'm following her, right? Then, boom, out of nowhere, Kirill is just sitting there in this little cafe. <sighs> Dumbass. He knew immediately I was there and turned his head to look directly at me. His stare made my skin crawl. You want to know what he did next? He didn't move towards me. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. He immediately unsheathed one of those hidden, short machetes he loves and attacked her. He yelled obscenities at her, calling her all sorts of things, careless, whatever. Then he leaves the cafe and, well, I try to follow him, but as always, he disappeared. Did you really call him the lion just now? Seriously? You know how much I hate his guts. Do you have to call him that in front of me? At least do me the courtesy of using his boring ass old name instead, please. Well, <laughs> I picked that one for a reason. While people may view lions as the king of the jungle, tigers are bigger, better, and they look cooler. They've got stripes, and they're way more badass. I'll never be bigger than him, but <laughs> I'll be better and more badass than him eventually. Anyways, why are you here? Oh, that's why. You look like hell. You should probably be in a hospital right now. Probably not my apartment. Mm, you just came from the hospital. Okay, see, I'm just going to assume they didn't discharge you and you just left on your own accord. So you're obviously not looking for any more medical attention. Don't look at me like that. Come on, out with it. Mm-hmm, I figured you'd need my help. Would you care to elaborate a little bit more? Wait, 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 wait. Someone tried to take you out? Okay, that's not surprising. But they got close. How close? 
Oh, my God. Yeah, here, let me take a look. Oh, this is a hole in your shoulder. Yeah, you're lucky that I just hit your shoulder. It was a sniper, wasn't it? Wow, <laughs> that was close. It's a good thing your senses are even better than Kirill's. What happened next? They had to have seen they missed their shot. Only the two came in to finish you off, huh? Hmm. Even with a massive wound on your shoulder, they would have needed, like, ten more people. Speaking of which, I ever told you how happy I am that we agree, not just ideologically, but just in every other instance? Notice how I said in every other instance? Okay, well, when was this? Because your shoulder looks like it's already begun the healing process. Hmm. Yeah. The bruising around your shoulder would definitely make sense. About a week? Yeah, that's about right. What happened next? You clearly didn't just lay there on your floor for a week and bleed out. Where have you been? You've been in London? You have an apartment there? If I had known, I would have asked to rent it out in a couple of weeks because I'm going there next month. Then, then again, that place has got to be out of commission though at this point, huh? Anyways, what was the prognosis at the hospital? Well, that's good to hear. But you still haven't told me the whole story yet. Clearly something has happened since the attack in your apartment. I mean, your face is... Covered in grime and you smell like smoke. An explosion? At the hospital? Man, they really went all out on this one. Well, yeah, I guess after two failures, they didn't care about collateral damage. But my god, I mean, who are these people? How many were injured? Were there any fatalities? How did you even get out of there? Who the hell did you piss off enough? Sorry, sorry, there's just a million thoughts flying around in my mind right now. Here, let me go get you a wet cloth to help clean up your face. What do you mean that wasn't them? It would be a little too coincidental for an explosion to just happen out of nowhere at a hospital you're staying. Wait a second. Are you nuts what were you thinking blowing up a hospital have you lost your mind oh okay and how could you potentially know nobody innocent was hurt you know i don't fully understand your weird abilities you haven't even answered why you do that how do they even find you okay okay Okay. I know you wouldn't just do this on a whim. But I'm glad that you had the courtesy to pull the fire alarm long before that anything, you know, imploded. I thought you were supposed to be like a saint or something. But hey, I'm sure you had your reasons. Still crazy. And I don't support it. Sure you had your reasons. How many people did they send that time? Twenty. Well, hopefully the damage on the floors wasn't too serious. And that you were right in saying that nobody innocent was hurt. You do know that you're going to have to go back and check, right? Well, now that you're on the path to recovery, and I assume that they haven't been able to track you here, I hope... Which, if they have, you're going to owe me big time. So what's next? You should really let this heal more. Because it's starting to look a little... Also, why come to me? You have tons of resources of your order at your disposal, after all. 
Oh, you flatter me. It's probably a good decision to vanish once you survive three attacks in a week. <laughs> I am a little surprised, though. You think you would need someone's help to get off the grid? I mean, after the massacre, you were able to successfully stay hidden for over a year, and... Okay. Okay. I know. It's not exactly your favorite memory. I apologize. I know that was hard for you. But really, everything you've done since... You should know how much I admire you for your persistence then, and even now. And of course, I'll help you. I did enjoy those couple of brief missions we worked on together. Also, I'm not exactly in love with what I'm working on right now, so this will be a nice change of pace. Do you have a specific idea of what you want to do next? Knowing you, I'm expecting you to have this all figured out. Have I been to Boston? I've been there once or twice. Wait, I know you're a baseball fan, so please tell me this is not a ploy to just get me to go to a game at Fenway Park with you. Okay, phew, thank God. The season's over, phew. Okay, one last question. Seriously, though. What, what do we have to go on? What, are we just walking into Boston? <laughs> yes, please do enlighten me before we go dark. I forgot how insufferable your sense of humor is. Ugh, we might as well eat while you bring me up to speed. Oh, and by the way, you don't have to call me Stripes because I'm the tiger or whatever. It's just a name I took on when I started the business. Only a handful of people out there know my real name. But if it's someone who deserves my trust, it's you. So, allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Vixie. Oh, Bull, you didn't know that. Come on. Liar! You're trying to lie to me already before we even start the mission. This is gonna go well. Alright, come on. Let's go.